we've often talked about the whole judicial overreach issue. One of the points even which the government put on the table yesterday in Parliament as action step was to try and respectfully convey to the judiciary that some of your decisions have hampered the economy in a significant way. Do you buy that logic? See, where the, there, are, there have been wrong decisions by judges in a host of fields. When have, you, when have you last seen the government reaching out to the court saying, sorry, you got a decision on economics wrong? You won't hear that. What you, but yes, if the Supreme Court says those who are under, those who have been arrested should not be allowed to contest elections, it, it's a judgment which could possibly be wrong. You hear a message going to the Supreme Court. When the Supreme Court, on, in my view, on a patent misunderstanding of the fundamental rules of the law of excise, said that if you are selling goods below cost, it's an extra discount and it's, it's extra commercial consideration and has to be disallowed. It's a plainly wrong judgment. The whole, whole automobile industry is reeling under that judgment. Have you heard the government criticize it? No. Have you heard the government engage on anything of economics? No. Have you heard the government saying, I'm sorry, judges, why are you closing minds? No. But yes, where, where, uh, if it affects the political life, you will immediately hear noises. And that's rather unfortunate, you would say, considering the kind of people who are at the helm of this government. Absolutely. Mm. See, the problem is this. What is, what's your priority in life? If your priority is economic growth coupled with the priority of then spreading out the benefits of that growth, not the growth, but the benefits of that growth to the largest number. If that is your priority, then economic decisions become fundamentally important. Everything else then falls into place. If Everything else is important. If politics and keeping the uh, polit political system of uh, loaves and fishes going is your primary interest, and then e the economy is something which you need to pay the bills, then your priorities are different. And that's what we are seeing in India.